Well, you know, we obviously we're disappointed we lost, particularly when you go eight for 21 from the free throw line. Uh, you know, we proud of my kids. They battled hard. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why. I think we were down eight or maybe nine, but somewhere in there. And uh, but we we started off strong, and then sh and then Arkansas picked it up, and I felt like they kind of counterpunched us and knocked us down, and uh, we were a little slow to get up. And I guess we went from 19-6 to 21-19 or something like that, 22, and. You know, the, other than that stretch right there, I thought we, you know, we played pretty good. Uh, we did not, they did a good job on our main scores. Uh, our top three scores uh, went a combined 13 of, of, uh, of 41, and that's just not going to cut it. We got to shoot, we got to have our, our main people shoot better than that. Uh, but you know, I thought our defense was reasonably good against a team in a in a in a in a pretty pretty hostile environment like this place is. Uh, we didn't really, you know, we didn't really have a, an answer for Gafford. I'm not sure a lot of people are going to have an answer for him. He's a good player. But then also, I thought I thought Mason Jones was probably the one player that made a difference in the game today. He really had a good game. Uh, was very efficient against us, and and uh, he hurt us even more than Gafford. But we'll we'll, we'll take this and, and learn from it, and and uh, try to do better. One of the things I'd looked at, I just told the team, I'm proud of your effort and the 42 rebounds we got versus their 34, with uh, 17 of those being offensive, uh, shows me we were battling pretty good. So if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer for you. Yeah, I know, and we, you know, you know, we had a freshman make that pass, and and up to that point in time, they hadn't bothered us. They hadn't affected us with their steals, which is a big part of, uh, you know, the attack here in Arkansas, getting steals and things like that. And, but that was something that got them rolling. I agree with you 100%. And um, uh, it got their team energized. I thought it got the crowd energized. So we made some, we, we, we did, in, as far as free throws concerned, we made two mistakes. We made some silly fouls, though I'll be the first one to say I have some questionable calls back there where I thought it's touch fouls, but but uh, you know, we miss free throws, and then we there were uh, there, uh, there were times where they're they're obviously going to score, and why are we fouling them? Just let them get the two; they got us beat. You know, I think that happened three or four times, at least three. We we've had some. Well, this team has been a better free throw shooting team uh, than than. Uh, than last year's team. Last year, if we did, we had we, we didn't shoot the ball well. We shot in the mid 60s for the season, and if we would have shot the ball better, we, instead of going 15 and 18, we'd have been into the season with 19 or 20 wins. Uh, and I've been I've been pounding that in their head. So this is our worst one of our worst showings of the year as far as free throws. Maybe that is due to the fatigue because Arkansas puts so much pressure on you, and and you know you you, you got to be on your toes. Uh, so we had some tired dudes out there tonight. Like I said, Jones was a was a big man for y'all. He's the difference. Gafford is Gafford. He's he's a, I think he's a pro, you know, or or going to be somebody somewhere in that draft uh, this year or next year. He'll be in that that draft at some point but Jones who is a Dallas kid and I know him you know he it's a it's, it's an amazing story what I know about him was he was not very saw, highly sought out of high school yeah you know really has developed himself into a nice player uh, no we didn't you know we didn't should have <laughs> should have but we didn't because you know there's kids like this all over the country, but I've always told, told my guys, you know, 
there's kids in Texas that are overlooked, and so many of them. You can pick out there's five players a year that turn out to be high major that nobody's looking at. So they go to JUCO or prep school, and a year or two years later, they're they're being recruited high major. Talk about the Pierce one, kind of like that. What was it about Jones in high school that maybe didn't get recruited? Just you know, my understanding, if I remember correctly, he was overweight. He was somewhat of an overweight young man. And DeSoto is such a good program that you could be a really good player and still be averaging 10 points a game on that team. It's, it, you know, it's arguably the top program in 6A basketball. You know the question? 